Meanwhile, uh, as far as Joe Biden is concerned, he's also shared information that how he had a word with the Egypt president and he has discussed humanitarian aid to Gazans. As far as uh, the talks with uh, President Biden has happened, what is being also said that uh, Egypt may have agreed to open Gaza aid corridor after talks that happened with the U.S. Uh, president Joe Biden. As far as a sustainable humanitarian aid corridor into Gaza, and this is also coming at a time when hundreds of trucks carrying essential supplies are still waiting to enter the besieged Gaza territory as we are looking at that is being bombarded by Israel, the Hamas terror hideouts that are being bombarded by Israeli defense forces. And uh, to open that humanitarian corridor, we are told that an appeal that was made by the U.S. President Joe Biden, you can see those pictures there while he was on board Air Force One and he was uh, en route Israel, that uh, phone call that he made to the Egyptian president. And uh, this is where as far as humanitarian concern that has been showcased uh, by uh, Joe Biden because he blamed the Islamic Jihad group for the deadly Gaza hospital bombing that killed over 500 people and uh, the attempts that are now being made because many of those citizens, the civilians there who are now at the receiving fund end and they do not have uh, any humanitarian aid at this time uh, Every attempt that is now being made, of course, we heard those reactions that came in from the United Nations side as well. But Egypt has now announced that there would be a creation of a sustainable humanitarian aid corridor into Gaza to aid the civilians there.